Hello, hello. I don't even know. Oh, it is. It's 8 o'clock right on the dot. I don't even know what time it was when I hit go. Hi there, friends. It's Jen Pitta with By the Shore Stamping. Welcome into the Wednesday Facebook Live. This will be another fun, quick project. And I'm excited today because I'm going to be sharing with you a new a new product. A little sneak peek of something to come very soon. Hi, Nicole. So it should be fun. So yes, I'm glad you're here. I'm just going to let some of you hop on here while I um, get everything situated. The lighting back there is awful, but that's not really going to matter because I'm going to flip you around in a second and um, we will get started. But what I'm going to show you is actually, um, and I probably won't really show you the picture here because it's going to be backwards if I show you right now anyway, but I'll show you once the camera is pointed down. But what I'm going to share with you today is actually um, a new celebration bundle that's going to be available um, with qualifying purchases. So as of Friday, uh, February 15th, we have the second release, which is um, just some more additional uh, celebration product that's available for free with a qualifying order. So the, the items I'm going to show you today are actually um, available for free with a hundred dollar order and it's a bundle of a stamp set and some really really pretty paper so that's that's just one of the items that will be available as of friday but i just thought i would um give you a little sneak peek early hey kathy hey april nice to see you all right i'm gonna go ahead and flip the camera around because it looks like many of you are finding me now so let me go ahead and get us situated i'm gonna cover your eyes for a minute so you don't get dizzy um let's see and then there we go. So you can take a look at that pretty paper. Let me get you situated without turning you off here. Hello, hello everyone. Thanks for joining me. All right, so now you can see some of this really pretty paper. Is that not beautiful? So this is, um, you get four sheets of double-sided paper as part of this bundle. Let me show you this. So this is part of the second release for celebration. So it's called the Painted Seasons Bundle, and you get the stamp set and the paper as part of the bundle with a $100 order beginning on February 15th. This stuff is so, so pretty. So I'm going to show you close up. So there's the, the mushroom print with the poppy parade. Um, so you can see that's front and back. And then this is the front and back of this one. I think this might be, well, this one and the other one is really my two favorites. There's this really pretty floral with that petal pink like starburst. Then there's this one, which I think is my other favorite. I love this flower one. With the um, Call Me Clover kind of diamond pattern or square pattern, I guess. And then there's this one, which is obviously the Christmassy one. So this is the, the kind of um, winter or yeah, winter version of the four seasons. So I'm assuming, let's see, this is probably spring maybe summer here and probably fall here so you get the four seasons so that's that's how they came up with that whole idea isn't it pretty so that's that that's the paper I'm not really gonna use too much of the paper tonight but I'm gonna show you the stamp set for sure because it's really pretty and you might not think it's anything exciting but it is but I did want to tell you one little quick um, secret with the DSP I don't know if you've noticed this you may have noticed this um, probably a year or so maybe more Stampin' Up started putting on the back of let's see if I can get it to there we go on the back of the 12 by 12 designer series paper you can see there it lists all your colors at the top so we see where it says call me clover crumb cake early espresso grapefruit grove lemon lime twist mango melody petal pink pool party poppy parade pumpkin pie and whisper white so those are all the colors that are in the particular um this particular paper pack um, this one has a lot because it's the four seasons, so it's pulling in a lot of colors. A lot of times there's only a handful of colors, which is really nice. It also lists it in the catalog as well, so that if you're purchasing a set of um, DSP, you can go ahead and order some of the coordinating cardstock as well, because that is one of the best things about the Stampin' Up! product line is that everything coordinates. So I'm not going to show you my finished card, although I need to see it because I don't remember what I did. I literally just made it like 10 minutes ago because I wanted to start playing. But I don't want to show you because the um 
stamping with this set is kind of a wow, so I don't want to ruin the wow for you. Oh no, I have a stray dimensional on my cardstock. Let's pull that off carefully. There we go. And we'll put that back over there. And let's go ahead. We're going to just fold this piece in half. And can anybody guess what color I'm using? If you hang out with me a while, you may have guessed that this is crumb cake. My very, very favorite color for card base. I literally have three packages of this stuff on hand at all times because I just use it a lot. All right, so I should be making a Valentine today, huh? But it's kind of too late for that for me. I was doing that weeks ago. So we're going to use some Poppy Parade. It's a nice, bright, fun color. Early espresso and, of course, some crumb cake. So hello, hello for those of you jumping on. We're doing a little stamping. All right, I'm going to actually set this aside. We're going to start with this, um, the white piece here. So before I get started, actually, because this is really the wow part, so I want to make sure as many of you can see it as possible. But I do want to share with you that there is one way to get this bundle, the um, Painted Seasons stamp set and the paper um, now, before Friday. If you were interested, you can actually put it in your starter kit order. So we'll see if you can see this. This is the Craft and Carry tote. Um, and it's really, really close up. But this is the, I'll have to share a picture separately. But you can see I've got all sorts of goodies in there. Right now it's all catalogs and stuff. But it's a really, really nice bag. I should have showed it to you before I put you into the stamping position. But as a demonstrator, we can actually pre-order these items right now. So if you were to purchase the starter kit, you could purchase the starter kit, get these items in your starter kit, as well as that beautiful bag um, for just $129 plus tax. So whatever your tax is, you get free shipping. So that is one way you could grab that now um, versus waiting. Otherwise, if you spend 100 on Friday or any time after that, before March 31st, you can earn this bundle that we're talking about today for free. All right, so here's the stamp set. It's called uh, Painted Seasons. And you can see it's kind of got winter, spring, summer, fall images. We're going to use this one because this one, literally, I was watching somebody else stamp with it the other day while I was laying in bed. And I think I audibly gasped because it's really um, impactful when you stamp with it. It's a, um, it's a stamp set that actually, or a stamp rather, that does kind of two-tone stamping all in one shot. Where's my stamp? Oh, here it is. Geesh. My desk isn't even that messy and I can't find it. Hi, Susan. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to ink this up and watch this. I'm telling you, it's so beautiful and it's just one little shot. This would make a great little background. It makes um, great cards, as you'll see. Look at how pretty that is. Look at the, the um, distinction in color. So there's lots of like really nice shading. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to stamp a few of these on here. Kind of like a little random pattern in the bottom left corner here. So we're going to do this. And what's nice about it is that it doesn't have any greetings, which means you can add whatever greetings you want with it. I'm going to add one more over here. Oh, aren't those so pretty? I love this flower. They're just so, so pretty. So there's that. And I'm just using, like I said, the Poppy Parade. Because I do have it on a um, crumb cake base, I'm going to actually go ahead and put this away. And we'll ink it up with some... Ink. I'm going to ink the edges with some crumb cake. Alright, and we'll just kind of run that along the edge here. Give it a little bit of like vintage vibe. And just do that. This is another one of my favorite little techniques. Adds a little bit of pow when you're when you don't mind a little bit of a distressed look. And then just one more side here. There we go. So we got some nice edging on that. And then I can go ahead and I'm gonna tape that down to my card base. And we'll just do that. So aren't those, I, literally those flowers just by themselves, you could slap a little greeting on there and call it done because I love them so much. They're so pretty. Okay, now I'm going to, I can put the crumb cake away for the moment. I will bring that back out in a second. I'm going to take just a little tiny, see I told you I wasn't using much of that paper at all, but I'm taking a little tiny strip of that pool party paper. And I really wanted the um, flowers here to be the, kind of the star of the show. 
So I'm going to go ahead and just do a little banner cut on this. So I'm going to slit in the middle and then go corner to center, corner to center. And I'm going to do that on both sides. And we'll do this side. And that side. Okay. All right. I'm just going to tape that down full. Uh, actually, I, I lied. I'm going to put a... Um, I'm going to cover a little bit of it. Don't don't worry though. It will still work. It will still be beautiful. I'm going to put just a little circle under there. I'm going to move that over slightly. I'm going to stick that piece of paper over it. So we'll put that right about here. And I'm doing this flat with just my regular adhesive. I'm going to put this kind of in the middle there. Now we're going to use the Early Espresso, which is one of the other colors that was listed as coordinating with this ink set. So, oh, and you know what? I didn't put my little thing on. I'm not sure if you guys know. These are our new ink pads. But did you know there's little labels on the bottom here? And apparently I didn't add this label, so this is a perfect little opportunity for me to show you. So you can pull this off from underneath. Whoops. And I'm just going to, there's multiple languages, so you can put it in whatever language you'd like. <laughs> I'm using English. Because it's iffy whether or not I know that language, never mind any others. And I'm going to stick that right in here. And you know what I just noticed? This is a newer ink pad for me. Newer than when I first bought the original ones. And it actually has the name listed here. If you look at this one. Oh, you know why? <laughs> I'm a ding-dong. That's why. I just did it wrong. Oh, <laughs> well. That's because this was supposed to go there, but I actually like that the name is there because in classes a lot of people don't um, know what color it is when it's open, even with the color label there. So um, I actually am going to just do this because I know my colors pretty well. So the other one is supposed to go down here. Wait, let me just make sure it's on the right side. Let me close it first. Nope. See, it was on the wrong side. It goes in this way. So go on this side. Of course, if I did this when I first got it, it wouldn't be a mess under there full of ink, but it's all good. They're well loved already. All right, so then I'm going to put this down right here so that now when it's stacked up on my shelf, I can see what color that is without having to pull it out. But I was supposed to put that one there, but I kind of like it on the inside, actually. Here I was thinking it was something new. and No, I'm just dumb. Okay, <laughs> moving on. We're going to go ahead and use the early espresso on our... Whisper White cardstock. I'm going to stamp that down. I'm using a greeting from the Incredible Like You stamp set that we used last week. And in my Teach Me Tuesday last yesterday, I used that set. And then I'm going to grab the one and three quarter inch circle punch. Let's close this so we don't have any accidents. I don't need that anymore. So we'll go ahead and close that up. And we'll stick this in here. And I'm just going to line that up and punch that out. And then I'm going to bring back the Caram Cake ink pad. And I'm going to ink the edges of that as well, just to match the other um, side of it. So, or the, um, the base layer there. I'm going to go ahead and ink these edges up too, to give that the kind of vintage vibe as well. And then before I put dimensionals on and put that on, I'm going to actually add a little bit of silver accent. So I'm going to put some tape on the back here and I'm going to use our really, th I don't know if you can see that, yep, see our um, really thin silver twine. I'm going to wrap some of that around here. I usually just stick one end down into the tape and then just kind of do little loop-de-loos and I let them kind of fall where they want. So if it wants to go this way, fine, you can go that way. That's fine. The only time I get um, picky is if it starts to make one of those pointy little loops, then I'll kind of fiddle with it a little bit, but most of the time I just kind of pull it forward and let it drop where it wants. So that looks pretty good. I'm not, I don't want a ton of it. And then I'm just going to snip off the end, make sure that's tucked in so it doesn't stick out. Put that out of the way. Okay. And now I can put my dimensionals on there. So I'm just going to put like three of them on the back here, like I normally would in a triangle shape. Hi, Nancy. Awesome. I'm looking forward to seeing you in April. That will be fun. All right. So then we're going to just stick this down. And if your your little loops are wonky, you can kind of play with them here before you put it down. That looks okay. 
then just make sure you're greeting straight because sometimes I pay attention to the little loop-de-loos instead of the greeting and it ends up being um, off. All right, so there you can see that. Now I'm going to add a little bit more silver to pull in that silver twine. I'm going to grab a few of our little um, our little rhinestones, and I'm also going to use my little take my pick take your pick tool. This is new in the um, it's in the holiday catalog, but it's got some putty in the end, and it just picks up your little embellishments and helps you get them down in the right spot. So you just kind of use the putty for the stickiness. And we'll put that one, let's put it over here. And then one more. I always like to work in threes. And one up there. And then that's all set, and I can put that over here. I did add one other thing to this, just because I was in a glitzy mood. I grabbed my clear Wink of Stella. This is like glitter in a paintbrush, so it's super fun. I just went over like the really dark parts because this Wink of Stella br brush will actually watercolor. So if you rub too much, you're going to actually kind of smear the color a little bit. So I'm just going over like the dark spots and the edges a little bit to add some glitz and glamour. But like I said, you don't want to do a real quick rub over everything because then you will um, smear kind of the image a little bit. It will just run the color. It won't really smear the image, but it's going to run rub the color a little bit too much, probably. So I'm just adding a little bit of glitz there. So as I was saying, this this product, the stamp set, the paper that I showed at the beginning, which I'll show again in a second, are all available as um, second release celebration items beginning on Friday. So if you place um, a $50 or more order, um, you'll qualify for new items. So we've had celebration going since January 3rd, so that for every $50 you got something, an exclusive product for free, and now we're introducing some new ones. And this one, this stamp set and the paper are actually as a bundle, so you can't get them individually. You can only get them um, with one purchase of $100 or more, then you can get that for free, which it's totally worth it. It's so, so pretty. And I'm just showing you a small little part of it tonight, so um, we'll definitely share more of this in the weeks to come. All right, so let's see. I don't know if you'll be able to see this glittery stuff. Um, I'm trying to see in the camera, but I can't really. Oh, yeah, you can kind of see it. See the glitz on the flowers now with the Wink of Stella? My Wink. Yes, Wink of Stella is the best. I love it. So that's my little card for you tonight. Um, I did want to show you, I meant to show you before, and I forgot. So these are our new cling stamps. So we have two different types of stamps, or three different types, three different types at the moment, but we're going to go down to two. So we'll still have the photopolymer, which are the completely see-through ones, like this one. Um, we're going to be getting rid of the clear mount. I don't know if I have any on my table right now that are clear mount. Let's see here like these. So these are clear mount where they've got the um, background here and the labels. But these are going to be different. They look the same but they're different than the new cling. So they're getting rid of the clear mount and they're going to the cling and photopolymer. And so I just wanted to show you how to put these together but look at how nice these actually stick. So like there's no falling anymore. They're not going to fall off your blocks. They're not going to ruin your projects anymore. So these are really, really exciting. I love, love, love them. So as of the new annual catalog in June, all of our stamps will either be clear, completely clear, so our photopolymer, or they'll be this type. So in order to put them together, when you first get them, you, you pull them out of that little die cut rubber that I just threw out. And you're going to peel the backing off of this. And then... You have a label, and on one side, see how it's got the little slit in it? So you're going to go ahead and pull those off carefully, because you want to kind of leave it in this label thing, because it helps you to guide that stamp to where it needs to go. So I'm just going to go ahead and stick this right on top, like that, and then pull it off. And now you've got your label on there. I actually missed just a little bit, but these really don't come off very well once they're on there, so it's going to be a little off. It's just the way it is. Um, and then I'm just, I just stick it right in here. And on the front it says how many stamps are in there, but I like to write it on the inside as well. So I know when I'm putting it away, one, two, three, four, five, six. And the flower that I use tonight will be number seven. So that way I always know how many are supposed to be in there. 
when I'm putting them away. So, because before, I used to use that little, um, this little die cut thing to remind me how many I needed to have. But since it's really hard to keep them in there now that it's so sticky, um, I needed another way to make sure I wasn't missing anything. So that was my solution. So that's my little tip for you today. All right, so that is that. So we have the Painted Seasons stamp set and the Painted Seasons paper. And I'll show it again in case any of you missed earlier. Um, thank you for the likes. Isn't that cool, Kathy? I love those new stamp sets. So I'm just going to show you these again in case you missed it at the beginning. These are the papers. And this is the stamp set. And as I said, this will be a bundle that is available um, come Friday as a freebie with a $100 purchase. So you can get both the stamp set and the paper um, with that purchase. Or if you're really, really impatient and you wanted to order it today, you could do the starter kit, which is, um, it's there's two options right now. You can do $99 plus tax and get $175 worth of product of your choice, which could include this because it could be a demonstrator pre-order right now. So if you were signing up for the starter kit, they let you order pre-order stuff on your in your starter kit. So you could do that now and get this. Or you could do the other one and do the um, $129 plus tax and get that craft and carry tote that I showed earlier too. Plus you could use this as your part of your $175 and free product. So you get free shipping on the, um, the starter kit and you get to select whatever you want for your $175 worth of product. So just a couple of options for you. But I'll be sharing a lot more with this suite because it's really, really pretty. All right, I think that's it for today. So there's the finished card again. I hope you have a great night, and we'll catch you next week for our next uh, teach. No, I was going to say Teach Me Tuesday, but that's Tuesday. We'll see you next week for the next um, Wednesday Facebook Live. Have a great week. Bye.